Welcome, one and all, to Baffled Buffoon, Buffoon's streaming of the Evil Dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, okay. I'm still trying to do my uh, original routine of start to stream and then immediately try to bring up, bring it up on my phone to make sure everything is working. Unfortunately, right. my phone just gets slower and slower every day. <laughs> oh, dear God in heaven, what is going on? Unfortunately, here? my phone just gets slower and slower every day. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. I'm turn that down. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so testing is good. Okay, cool. We're online. We're good. Okay. Yeah, I think this channel got like four or five new subscribers in the past couple of days. Probably. It doesn't really, like, it, we were at, or we, I keep saying that, like, as if this is my freaking channel. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> were at, I think, 14, the last big, uh, um, the last time I really checked. And then after the last time we streamed, we were at 15. Hmm. Um, I think we were just at 16. I, I already forgot that soon. It's, I think it's 16. Yeah, we're at 16 now. You're, dang it, you're at 16 now. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to multiplayer games, you're practically the co-host. Uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll, probably, it'll probably be weird when, uh, when I do go back to Alien Isolation again. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I could still be on, uh, you know, I could still be on uh, <laughs> mic with you. <laughs> That's true, but then, but then nobody would be able to laugh because I wouldn't be as stressed out as I am when it's just me and the alien. <laughs> that, that game, dude, it like, it gets to me hardcore. Like, it, it taps into those like, you know, moments for, of like childhood when I first watched those movies and was actually like legitimately scared of the xenomorphs. It like taps into that, like primal shit. <laughs> You know what is so weird? Like, I grew up primarily because of my youngest of my two sisters, which I'm the youngest anyway, so if I say youngest or younger, it doesn't mean they're younger than me, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, my younger of my two sisters, you know, she, like, the first movie I ever saw with her was, like, The Exorcist, huh. and I think I was, like, 10. Mm-hmm. So here I am, 10 years old, watching a rated R movie where it says some scenes may be too explicit for younger viewers, parental discretion. And so what happens, uh, you know, her and her, her and my brother-in-law run off and here I am watching this movie by myself. That's what they turned on for me. And it's like, oh, OK. Wow. <laughs> so um, I have to say that was actually my introduction to, to horror. And then um, after mm -hmm. that, it just kind of went on to slasher films and but for the longest time in like i won't say i'm embarrassed to say this but it's 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 kind of weird but until i was probably in like well i won't say but until probably about 10 years ago i still had a thing about zombies like i had not i had stayed away from zombie movies zombie shows and then uh my significant other at the time <clears throat> Uh, convinced me to watch The Walking Dead and hmm. it's funny because you look back on how cheesy it is now but like I watched it and I was genuinely a grown freaking adult and I was terrified of the little girl zombie right. that Rick ran into in you know what I'm saying like the first zombie that we actually see and I was like oh no I don't want to see this and I'm like trying to close my eyes but I promised I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like oh I gotta freaking watch this yeah well, that that first season was legitimately great, and uh, it was effective with the scares too. It really was. And <sighs> I've adopted the baffled side. Uh, <laughs> side. Well, you heard it plenty of times in the new video. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Oh, that was such a great video, by the way. Ah, oh, thanks. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure whether to rage with you or to, uh, you know, um, <laughs> laugh because it was such a great video and your reactions and everything that was being so like, cause you were right. And, you know, obviously I, I, uh, made my own little comments and stuff, but, oh, man. 
but yeah, like a lot of a lot of television shows are like that. Like the first season, the second season, you know, in the case of like Supernatural, like the first five seasons are just absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And then it's like the tele the the studios are like, hey, make more, and they're like, we really don't want to. Right, so the story's done, and they're like, do it anyway, and they're like, uh, okay. And so they do it, and it's just like kind of falls apart. It's yep. like they don't really have any more ideas. It's, I mean, yeah, you know, it's like you know, Walking Dead. I mean, it had its own script behind it already. Like it had years of of the comic books to mm-hmm. to lie back on. And uh, you know, who was it? Kripke? No, no, um, Robert Kirkman. Kirkman, thank you, Kirkman. Uh, sorry, I've got Supernatural on the mind right now, so I thought Kripke. Uh, but yeah, Kirkman, and plus they both begin with a K. Right. I'm on the move. <clears throat> um, but Kirkman, like, he was he had he was like, no, well, I'm gonna make the show a little different than the comics. That way, the comic readers, you know, the graphic novel readers aren't gonna be can be a little surprised by what they see. Mm-hmm. And I get it, you know. I mean, that's not a bad plan. You know, it's just. Towards the end, it kind of didn't. It kind of it, it fell apart. Oh, did you want that amulet? Ash tried to get that amulet. <laughs> oh, okay. That was funny. He bailed out of the car to try to get to it before he. <laughs> <laughs> now our terror is going to go through the roof. It is. It really is. But um, <clears throat> you know, it just it just fell apart because I think you know killing off Carl. You know, getting rid of Rick, like, everybody knew Rick was going to be going at some point because that's part of the graphic novels. Okay, fine. Uh, But getting rid of Carl kind of, like, destroys the entire um, storyline, I guess. Right. You know, have you read the have you read the graphic novels? No, I always like kept up with what happened though, because I was always kind of intrigued by the differences that kind of grew between the, you know the source and the the show. But I know Carl mm-hmm. like eventually becomes the main character. Um, well, yeah, practically um, anyway. But yeah, it's I don't know, it, like that. I, I I feel for the people who wanted to see Carl get to be the hero. Mm-hmm. And, uh, because that reminds me of like me waiting for for Bucky in the Marvel stuff, the MCU stuff, to mm-hmm. get ca- the Captain America shield and become the second Captain America. Because when I started reading comics, Bucky was my Captain America, and then mm-hmm. they just completely skipped over him. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> that's, Honestly, that's great. I felt like I agree with you, and and I felt like it was kind of like a slap in the face too, because it's like. You know, here, why don't you take it? You're the one that deserves it. And he's like, no, I'm not worthy. It's like, okay, are you serious? Like, Yeah. I mean, here you have a character nah. who's looking for an identity and looking mm-hmm. for a purpose. But nah, giving him the shield and asking him to uphold Steve's legacy couldn't possibly be something for him to do. Nope, not at all. Right. The final and th- I collected. just think that they... Making what the, the freak? The really? You want to start that? You want to start that? What happened? Oh, here's a sword if you want it. Yes, I would love the sword, but I'm getting attacked by skellies right now. Uh-oh. Some skelly bros? Yeah. I am going to try to grab that sword before Ooh. this... Uh, I d- didn't mean to mark that. How do I do away with that? That's embarrassing. Tap L1 again. Okay. Fear of the dark. Shut up. Not afraid of the dark. Yes, give me that sword. Um. Oh my gosh, portal. Oh, and possessed. Oh boy. Oh, I and killed him. Okay. This this here can't. What am I stuck on? There's what the hell. Well, that that'll be something to look back on on stream. Uh, I think that, yep, he is, uh, freaking bot, uh, the player is hunting me right now. Yeah, he also has had your house you're in really portaled up. I was trying to come in to help you, and I got stopped by a portal. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, I'm coming upstairs now. I made it past a couple of the oh, freak. dudes here. Do I have another? Do I have one of those? Do I have one of those? Yes, I do. I'm gonna hurry up and break in. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, you know, not only was Carl the main character, but he was also the person telling the story mm. to, you know, telling the story of his, of, of the great Rick Grimes. And it's like, okay, so now you're just pretty much going to get rid of everything, like the whole premise of 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 the of the of the graphic novels and it's yeah. just like eh, that kind of rubbed me wrong. Yeah, well, the show even like basically uh, replaced Carl's role with Judith, right? They did a time skip yeah. eventually. Yeah, they did. Here's a blue handgun I can't use. All right, I'll try to get it. I'll, I'll take that bland that blue handgun that I won't use. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case uh, I get possessed, we'll we'll go on ahead and give the player some. Uh... <laughs> true, true. Something give give him something good to use. <laughs> I still thought it was pretty cool that every time the player possessed us last time we streamed, it was just like <laughs> all we had were great weapons. Right. It was like, yeah, go on ahead, possess us. You're not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Man, I hate it. What, what I kind of dislike about this game is that. Oh, you, it's go. hard. It's hard to tell what you can vault over and what you can't until you get up to it. Yeah. Like, I thought for sure I could just jump over some of this stuff, but no. Yeah, I think uh, it's like you know, if it's higher than your knees, unless it's on the second floor, then you can vault over it. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to figure out the rules myself. Amulet? Thank you. Come on. Use, oh, I don't have an amulet. Oh, well, I guess that's why I can't use it. Apparently you're terrified because you just started screaming. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me see. I need... Oh, look, there's the dark ones. There we go. The dark ones. Ooh, woohoo. Um... But, yeah, and it's, like, Supernatural. I think I've mentioned this to you before at some point. Like, the first five seasons were, like, the best. Mm -hmm. Like, they were freaking awesome. And then it just, like, totally went off the rails after that. You know, like... And, honestly, if people haven't seen... If if, you're, if, if people are a fan of Supernatural and haven't watched the whole thing and I make spoilers, well, that's your bad. Right. Not mine. The the freaking show's been over for, like, two years now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, and they're like, making a prequel series. Yay. Yeah, and then there's that. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, in... Uh, where the heck did you go? Really? Dude, you just got game banged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't, calm down, Thunderloins. <laughs> no, you got some pent-up thunder, but... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep it in your pants. Um... You know, it's it's it it, it it just it just went off the rails. Now, it was I'm not saying like you know every episode after you know season five was bad. They had some good stuff in there, mm -hmm. but it's like you know they, they don't want to keep going. They didn't they didn't want keep keep going doing the monster of the week or the uh, the the oh my gosh, what is it called the um, the urban legend of the week? You know. They didn't mm -hmm. want to keep, you know, they so, so they decided to put a storyline behind it. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, so in comes, you know, soulless, soulless Sam and then, you know, Demon Dean and then, and, you know, uh, the Antichrist and Lucifer and then mm -hmm. finally God. And it's like, what the hell just happened? Did the demon quit? Did he really? Uh, do we win by proxy? Oh, cool. Yeah, I th yeah the demon quit. Hmm. Dude, that's awesome. Do Screw we still you, get demon. experience? I only wish I could uh, yeah, I we mean, did. I got a score, so... Cool. Yeah. Alright. I got a trophy for that, too, for, for some reason. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> 
Um, you know, it just got it just got elevated more and more and more. And as it did, it's like the the what made it scary, what made it interesting, whatever you call it, you know, whatever made it what it was, it just you know disappeared. Mm-hmm. You know, there was like like there was nothing good left to it except for like the comedy aspect of you know Jared and Jensen. Yeah. And that's pretty much why I stuck through with it as far as I did. But then when that started to disappear, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, so my my hot take that I've kind of kept in uh, the couple of times we've talked about Supernatural is that I kind of stopped enjoying the show after season two. Um, because, I, and I held, I held in there until um, Sam, I think. Yeah, Sam jumped in the the cage in hell um, at the end of what season five or six or whatever. Uh-huh. I held I held in that long only because of the comedy episodes. I felt mm-hmm. like when the, when those episodes came around, that's when I was being thrown a bone. But like when you go back and watch, you can tell that for quite a while, Jeffrey Dean Morgan leaving the show completely wrecked the plans that they had until they figured out that they could use Bobby. Uh, to basically take on that kind of role that, yeah. their, that, that their dad was supposed to have, but um, and then they got rid of Bobby. Yeah, but when they started no. do when they like my interest died when they stopped doing the monster of the week stuff so often mm-hmm. because every like, like season long storyline that they did, yep. I never really liked and cared for. And like what what's good about monster of the week kind of stuff is that you'll have a bad episode here and there but the show's not wrecked but if, if somebody is watching a show and they don't enjoy the entire season's storyline then that entire season is wrecked yeah and that's what it was for me i got so tired of how every angel every demon every horseman of the apocalypse was just a dude in a suit mm-hmm. it just all felt so dull to me and yeah Cast- trash, man. castiel was cool but oh, yeah. he wasn't enough to like save it for me. No. And honestly, some of those like some of the seasons, like I was more interested on where Cass was and what he was doing as opposed to the constant CW trope of learn a lesson and then immediately forget the lesson at the at the beginning of the next season. Right. Learn a lesson at the end of the season and then forget the lesson at the end of the season. And like even like for a while there the brothers were like trading places dying at the end of every season right. and I was just like this is so stupid yeah it became redundant and boring yep after a while and uh yeah that's it's, I mean I think I watched it through until like season 12 or something mm. like that yeah you held and in I there way longer than I did <laughs> well I did because you know I'm a very loyal kind of person yeah. so when I start watching things it's like okay I'm gonna watch this as long as I can I don't care if I don't like it it's got to get better at some point and it just never did mm. and like you said every now and then there was those comedic episodes like you said throwing somebody a bone yeah uh, oh dude anytime but... they brought back Loki I was like oh yes this is awesome <laughs> right uh, yeah Gabriel <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and yeah, like it was that was so great, and uh, you know the things, the way that he was involved in everything that he did, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, those started to become fewer and far between as the seasons went on. It became more about the end game than it did about the individual um, episodes, like All it right. was in the early seasons, and. Um, yeah, I just I just totally lost uh, lost interest in it. It's just yeah. like you know what, it, it's the same thing over and over. And again, it's a CW trope, or uh, back in the day, it was a WB trope. You know, yeah. it's it's like it's always the same. You know, you can see that in the Flash. Yeah. You know, if if you uh, if, if you come to me, I got a sword and an amulet here in this shack. I just got a sword. Oh, okay. I just found a sword, should I say? Um, but I will. And you said the amulet's right next to it. Yeah, I just marked the amulet. Okay, but you just mark the amulet. Okay, I see it. <clears throat> and uh, that's how come like I have very little faith in the in this in any CW show, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a reason why um, 
they had to announce recently that they have not turned a profit since it became the CW. Like their writing quality, like the writers they hire just, I don't know. It's like they weren't ready for prime time. <laughs> you know, like I hate to insult people like that, but like yeah. the kind of storylines they started putting out shortly after that switch happened. I don't know, man. Like I loved the flash for the first season and then mm -hmm. it kind of got worse gradually with each season. Uh, we yeah. already talked about how I um, I pretty much considered Arrow dead to me uh, halfway through season three. Mm -hmm. um, like the most the CW could muster from me was I would like a season or two of a show and then I would hate it like everything else they make. Same with The 100. I loved the first season of The 100. And then after that, I was like, eh, this is kind of hokey now. Honestly, like, I started watching The 100, like, I just started watching it, and honestly, I don't think I made it past, like, I well, I know I didn't make it past the first season, but I don't think I made it past, like, the fourth or fifth episode. Yeah, and it's a shame, because that show had one of the most interesting pilots I had seen in a while, and the ending mm -hmm. of it was legitimately shocking. But then, I don't know, they just kind of, they went in weird directions. Yeah, and so, and and, and, and like that's the thing. Like that's I think that's why like Supernatural had the potential, and that's the thing with so many of these shows, whether it's on Netflix or whether it's on. Wait, you just about ran me over. Um, <laughs> whether it's on Netflix, whether it's on this on CW or anything else, it's like all these shows have so much potential, and it starts off great, but then it's like, okay, well the first season's over. Now what do we do? Yeah. It's like they run out of ideas. It's like they don't expect it to be as big as it was. Yeah, and The Flash specifically completely blew its load in that first season. They started out with The Flash's arch nemesis, Reverse Flash. Where, mm -hmm. do, where do you really go from there? And the answer is you just keep bringing them back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. And then, like, the thing that irritated me the most is that they, they split Reverse Flash. Because Reverse Flash, Professor Zoom in the comics, you know, or Zoom, they were, mm -hmm. like, the same person. Yeah. And then they kind of, like, started... And then when they created, like, alternate realities and different dimensions and different worlds, like, then they became two separate people, but they were still the same person, theoretically. They were yeah. still Eobard Thawn. Um, they were just kind of had different... Things. And then it's like they brought in, uh, what do you call it, Dark Flash, when they did the um, uh, Darkest Night. Uh, yeah you know, uh, storyline in the comics. And then they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll do that with, you know, we'll do that with with, with Zoom. And it's like, okay, why? Right. And they, when they introduced him, they had him pretending to be Jay Garrick. Like, right. they, they kept mixing up so many, you know, so much of the lore and overcomplicating it, really. And they I'm not did. saying you had to adhere to Flash's comic book uh, like storylines completely because a lot of the comic books go in weird directions too you yep. know but the way that they decided to adapt things just took everything off course yeah, yeah. it did and, and it's like it's kind of like what we what you were talking about in your last video too like you know it's it's great it's fine if you don't have the expectation of what to expect in something you know mm -hmm. like you want to make a zombie movie a post-apocalypse, a pre-apocalypse zombie movie, that's great. But when you add an IP to it or add an expectation to it, you know, um, it just, it's then, okay, well, this is what we're expecting, and then, oh, no, they didn't deliver, and now we're, you know, as fans, it's like, okay, well, now we're kind of, you know, the, the show fails. Yeah. So with Netflix Resident Evil, and I didn't want to get into this in my video because it would add probably an extra 15 minutes to already a super long video. Yeah. Uh, by far the longest video of that type that I added. But when you, when they come out and say, we're making a show that's a sequel to, to the Resident Evil games, the games are literally canon to this show. Mm -hmm. If As soon as you say that, that immediately brings questions from the fans. Like, okay, where's the BSAA? Where's Chris Redfield? Where's Jill Valentine? Mm -hmm. Where's Claire Redfield? Where's Sherry Birkin? Mm -hmm. And if you don't try to... Uh, damn it, I'm down. If you don't yeah, try exactly. to say that, then nobody has those questions in mind when they sit down to watch it. Right. But now that they've said that, that's all anybody's going to be thinking about with everything that happens. Like, how the hell did a new Umbrella get set up doing evil shit when Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine and 
all the main characters are out there somewhere. Team now holds mm -hmm. Especially because this umbrella seems to be a public company making pharmaceuticals again. <laughs> Which right. again, and if it's a if it's a sequel to the games, makes zero sense that they're able to do that. Absolutely, absolutely, it does. You know, um, I mean, it's just really no, 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 no. You're not going to be sneaking up. Um. It makes no sense because, like, the Umbrella Corporation was shut down globally. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make the Umbrella Corporation again just because it's in South Africa? And, I mean, wasn't is, isn't doesn't actually Resident Evil 6 cover South Africa? Uh, Resident Evil 5 does. Resident Evil 5 does, okay. Yeah, like, there's literally a BSA branch, a BSAA branch that operates in there. Sheva is a member of that branch of the BSAA, which is why, like, during my video, I ha almost had a panic attack, being like, oh, fuck, Sheva would be operating in this territory. <laughs> right. Right, and it's like, you know, I mean, I didn't, I haven't played the fifth one, but I did, I have seen enough coverage of it to be like, you know, I thought, you know, there is, you know, they were in Africa at one point. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it's, <sighs> and that's an actual fun co-op game, by the way, RE5. Five? Yep. Oh I yeah. That, that, that's an amazing co-op game. I didn't realize it was co-op. Yep. Yeah. One, per one person is Chris. The other one's Sheva. Yeah, well, if I had realized that I would have downloaded five instead. Ah, I have all of them. Oh yeah. So yeah. Oh. I've got every single Resident Evil. Um, I've got the first remake, although I've never played it, but I don't have the second re remake yet. But yeah, uh, I've got... Let's see. I think I have PS uh, RE5 on PS3, 360, and Switch. I don't think I have the PS4 version. Uh, if mm -hmm. it, it's, it is on sale a lot, though. So if I can mm -hmm. catch it for a good price, that could be another stream. Please let me upgrade controller, please. Please controller. Okay. Whoops. Well, I accidentally upgraded my stamina instead of fear, but that's okay. Do you want this blue gun in here? You grab it, homie. Okay. But I will take the uh, pink. Uh, I mean the pink stuff. <laughs> Why don't you just say it? Just say it. Stop. The pink fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you know, get your lock gun ammo. Oh, never mind. Ash will get the long gun ammo. Nah, that's fine. Um, that <laughs> that guy in that one match really wanted me to know the story behind pink fuck. Like he was <laughs> he, he was offended that I called it pink stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that too. He was like, he was like, "Have you ever seen the Resident Evil? The like, you know, uh, the, the evil <laughs> the Ash versus show. the Evil Dead? Yeah, it, like, yeah. he will like, actually me. That? Have you seen yeah. that? Yeah. I actually started watching that. I got, I got to the second episode. Uh, I, what sucks is the first episode of that show rubs me the wrong way immediately. Really? Because it just makes Ash dumber than he's ever been. You know, but the thing is about it is that it's an act. As far as I'm concerned, like, that's how I took it. Like, I, I was in the same way. I was like, what the heck? No, 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 no. This isn't right. And then as I was, like, going through it, I was like, oh, okay. So he is just acting. He's trying to change his persona. He's Clark Kenting it, I guess is the best way to put it. Well, what I mean by by that is... Like, he gets high and he reads from the Necronomicon. Oh, uh, see, I must have been making dinner at that point. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, I know Ash is, you know, like a Devil May Care kind of character. Mm. But my interpretation of him was always that, like, but when it comes to that fucking book, he will be real serious. Because it's caused him issues for so, so many years of his life. Yeah. But then, yeah, he, uh... He gets high and he tries to impress a chick, so he just busts out the Necronomicon and starts reading from it, and unleashes the the oh, Deadites again. Oh, okay. I definitely need to go back and watch that first episode or that first. Yeah, is like I want to watch it simply because we've been playing the game. To be honest with you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. And I, I, like I've been in the mood for it too, and like it is still Evil Dead, 
and Sam Ooh, Sam Raimi is involved. So immediately it's got an edge over like a lot of other entertainment that's out there today. But it just, like I said, it just happened to rub me the wrong way right out the gate. All right, let me see. Um, how much do I have? I got two, so I'm gonna do two melee and one fear. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Start. I start. I start. Oh yeah, by the way, I think... Oh, shit. I think part four of the Evil Dead streams is back. Oh, okay. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Did, did it, was it not... Um, forced privatized it? Private, 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 private. Was it not... Okay, yeah. I'm possessed. I really? I <laughs> saw that happen, too. <laughs> there you go, you're good. Okay. I think he left you once he saw me pop my special and realized he couldn't hurt me. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, okay, oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to try to go to the pages over here. All right, I'm right behind you. Like, the demon, Although, the demon just literally just careful. came this way, too. Just be careful, because I am close to being possessed. Okay. I'm, I'm full-on pink. Just, just, just so you know, I got a blue gun, and your name is on all the bullets. Uh, I'm sure that's very comforting for you. You too. <laughs> oh, good thing I don't have a freaking gun then, huh? Because otherwise I'd just be stun locking you. Let's see what's upstairs. I need something, man. I need something. I need something. What do I need? What do I need? Uh, no, I don't need that. Wait, what is that? Special weapon ammo. Nope. What's that? Handgun ammo. Nope. We can't carry any more matchsticks. Okay, there's matchsticks, more handgun ammo. Pistol. Nope. Yeah, there we go. See, we can bolt it. It's so, in, it's so inconsistent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Paige is I mean, over here now. I mean, you know, this game isn't... I mean, it's not complete. It's good. Right. Oh, yeah. It's definitely It's just good. rough around the edges. It is. It is. Like and, there, there uh, was one review I saw that kind of summed it up. Uh, I think, I think they called it mostly groovy, but lacking polish. Yeah. That's 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 a pretty good way to do, to, to describe it. I think. Um. Yeah. Well, like you said in your video, you know, you've been uh, you've been playing this and having a blast, and that's what counts. You know, is that mm -hmm. you're having fun playing the game. And it's not just a trough, you know, it's not just a slog. You're not right. just sitting there like, oh my god, I gotta freaking do this. I don't want to do this. You know, um, and and that's the thing. Like, it's fun. Oh, you got a skelly behind you. To your, to, yeah. Tree. <laughs> I shot him in the dick and he died. And Thunderloins is just sitting there staring at him like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Ooh, but beach. yeah, like, um... You know, when I, when I was playing Dead by Daylight for a little while there as my main multiplayer game, um, you know, there were plenty of points where it felt like a slog, and I was I was just forcing myself to play it because I was trying to distract myself from other things. Um, but when you get on a losing streak, it just sucks. Whereas this, we lose way more often than we win, and it's still just yeah. as fun. It is. Oh, he died. He gotta collect his soul. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, though? And I, and I think a lot of that, though, too, is that, kind of like what you said, like, you, we can just, you know, we can fight back. It's not just a game mm -hmm. of hide-and-seek. Even though there is, you know, there is that place for playing hide-and-seek. Yeah. It's not, you know, like, it's... Yeah, the, the, con the consistency the of the fact that it's like, that's all you do, mm -hmm. you know, um, especially when you're, yeah, talking about people like, you know, Leon or Chris or whatever, you know, who are avid fighters, they're combatants. I'm possessed, watch out. All the... Oh my god, you're kidding me. Okay. You're good now, I think. Yep.
Dude, this freaking demon player is just relentless right now. Hmm. Do you have any uh, any heals? Oh shit, evil ash. Uh, I do. I have one. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it. There we go. Good job, good job. There is a uh, oh, there's a uh, elite. Oh, you got it. Oh, there's the flute here. skeleton. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm possessed. He gone. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm out of bullets. Oh shit. And I am going after the other chick or the other other person. That's I'm not going after you. Let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. shit, I don't know to help or stay in the circle. Uh, I would... Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm good. Wow, I wrecked that person. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I wrecked her. It wasn't your fault! <laughs> Oh, she's Whoa, shit! <laughs> she, she's trying to drive over everybody, I think. Right. She's like, F all of you, motherfuckers! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm almost down. Ooh. I'm almost down. I think we're all down. Yep. Nope. No, you're not. You're the only one up. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> you jinxed me! You said you're not, and then immediately I got down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally had one hit left in me. <laughs> See, we yeah, lost, but it was still fun. It really was. And I think, again, it's it's just one of those things where it's like the camaraderie of talking, the camaraderie of speaking to somebody else, which, again, if you're looking at the... Um, you know, if you look at the people who have their mics on, whether they have it on or off, I think, who was it, like a couple of streams ago, when we were, I was first trying to join you, mm -hmm. he was like, oh, sorry, I normally have my mic off. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, um, so what's the point? <laughs> Playing a team-based game where you need to communicate? Well, a lot of it, like, I, because I do the same thing when I'm just playing not on a stream or... Or anything. A lot of it just has to do with you want to confirm that you're with some cool people first, before you before you reveal the fact you have a mic. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I get that. Maybe that's like I, I think it's more of like a knee jerk reaction of mine, where it's like I get so hesitant to speak on mic that I just, like, become obnoxious instead. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, as I get more comfortable, it's like, okay, I think I can be a little less obnoxious now. <laughs> but by then, it's too late. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're already 24. You got, so you, do you have her final thing, or does that come next level? Uh, I think it's next level. Well, that's a next level business right there, in it? It's next level, bruh. Uh, well, we were quick. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, level 25. You don't see many people play as Scotty, but he's a level 21 Scotty. Ooh. Well, that's gonna be fun. It's definitely not oh. like that, uh, that poor level 1 Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I still feel bad for that guy. <laughs> I don't even know who Scotty is, to be honest with you. Is he one of the is he one of the Evil Dead One characters that gets possessed I, and killed? I I I I don't know. That's my assumption, because I don't remember him specifically either. Unless the character just really doesn't look like the actor. 
So I was watching. Um, I'm sorry. I do watch other YouTubers. I apologize. Um, <laughs> How dare you cheat on me? <laughs> I thought we had something special. No, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> um, I assume I so. <laughs> I mean, how else am I supposed to keep up with the Joneses? Let me stop. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So I was watching um, I was watching a, a video where um, they actually had... Uh, um, dude, why do I got a brain fart like this? Mm -hmm. Um... Everybody's watching right now. They're waiting. They are. Too. They're waiting with bated breath to they hear what too. kind of profound words you're going to say next. <sighs> <laughs> this is this is a Bill and Ted situation here. The next words out of your mouth are going to either bring about world peace or a whole another world war. Be excellent to each other. There you go. <laughs> hey, Philip Marlowe's in the chat. What's up, dude? <laughs> hey, Philip. What's going on, man? Hey, so I think I'm finally going to be working on a Twisted Metal video. Because I just saw there was another casting announcement today. Ooh. And I'm finally, like, not too in the weeds with another video to to do a Twisted Metal one. So, looking forward to it. It's, it's yeah. probably going to be a recap of uh, all the news we've had recently on the show. I am... Totally looking forward to watching you have an aneurysm again. I keep telling myself as long as the action is good, nothing else will matter. Because that's kind of... I don't know, when you think about Twisted Metal, I think most people think first and foremost about, you know, the car combat. They don't mm -hmm. think necessarily about specific characters and all that. Um, if it shoots, I can... But yeah, there's... I do, I think the... about Ghost. Nah, there or are still... Evil. Spectre? Spectre, thank you. <laughs> I think about that character whose name I got wrong. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I go to build my fear. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see what you're saying. Though. <laughs> yeah, I keep telling myself because there's also just been so many iterations of Twisted Metal to all, like. So what? What really? Like, what are they gonna do that hasn't been done already? Because like they're going the post-apocalyptic route. TMN, uh, TMNT, TM, uh, TM2011 was already, um, basically post-apocalyptic. At least it seemed like it, since most of the levels were, like, wastelands. Let's see, Pain Manor, where is... Okay, right there. Oh, awesome, Philip. I'm glad that you, you know, that's, it's great that this is the first time that you're seeing it. We can get a, uh, a fresh, fresh eye perspective. Oh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Dude, I just like accidentally clapped this guy in the back of the head while he was running after you. Yep. <laughs> and he was too. He ran right past me and like beeline right for you. And I was that's like, a, wait, what? Wait, that's what? a racist damn skeleton. <laughs> Jeez. Racist, sexist, dimensionalist. Yeah, I was trying to think of something else to accuse him of being just for a, for a trifecta. Dimensionalist, because you know everybody hates the two dimensional. No, no, no. You know what? He he he's uh, he's ableist as well. He really hates he really hates people who only have flippers. <laughs> I've been you know I haven't looked it up. I was planning on doing it. What is an ableist? I gotta know. <laughs> people who uh, discriminate against disabled people. Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's my understanding anyway. I've I've been called an ableist before. <laughs> Uh, but wait, how can you be called an ableist when all you have are flippers and right. no no mass to your body? I don't get it. I I have mass, okay. It's just all located below the camera line. Nobody gets to see it. I try I try not to you know gloat about it. Because I don't want anybody else to feel inferior. That's why I don't show anything on camera. That, and it would also violate YouTube's terms of service. You know, that's, that is a true statement. Um, but, 
in vain of that statement. I have to say, your tripod work, the way you just set it all up, and, um, you know, you're, you're able to really hold that steady cam while you're filming yourself is uh, mm -hmm. impressive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the, the tripod is very talented. It's, uh, it's, some might say it's underappreciated by the, the general audience. <laughs> it, it's the it's the hidden hero of your videos. Oh, absolutely. This is shining over here. What's that? Ooh, that's an amulet. I keep find, I keep finding chainsaws in the grass, <laughs> and I get pissed off every time because I can't use them. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. What? So, the first amulet that I use gives me two, fills up two bars, and then everyone thereafter only fills up one, I think, of my shields. Oh, really? Oh, watch your back. It's a, look at the Damn. Okay, upgrade, please. Upgrade. Controller. I will try to watch your back. Okay. Thank you. Anything. Okay. I am so glad you're not watching my point of view. Okay, so the Nobi cabin is where we gotta go now. Where's the Nobi, Nobi cabin in relation to us? Oh, Scotty's already there. Okay. But I'll, I'll mark it anyway. Alright. Um, the hell? Okay, this way. <laughs> my compass is broken. Yeah, I know. I just had a, I just had to turn around as well. No, see, like, that's another one. Um, red versus blue. You know, that was so great. I loved the Blood Gulch Chronicles. Have you ever seen the RVB series? Oh, yeah, yeah. Eventually, like, it kind of lost its charm for me once they got overly complex with the animation stuff. Like, once they stopped using in-engine stuff from the games, mm -hmm. I actually ended up losing interest, even though I'm sure they were super excited about it. Yeah, and, and I agree, too. Like, once they started getting out, uh, away from what made them popular... And that's the thing. Like, sometimes, you know, what you love about a show or a series or a movie... Is what the, the creators hate one. about it. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Oh, did you want that amulet? Sorry. No, no, I, like, no. I, I was just going to mark it if you were going to start walking away. Okay. See, that's teamwork right mm -hmm. there. That is absolute teamwork. Shut up! Yeah, kill that flute player. <laughs> Nobody <Shut> likes him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Philip, if you if you like Evil Dead and Army of Darkness, this game is pretty amazing. Like, there's so many, like, nice touches here that are straight from the movies. Yeah, I am still waiting uh, for Baffled to stream, probably, to not stream, but to record and probably one of the most epic moments in Evil Dead the game history mm. uh, it's, 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 it's unfortunately locked in a lost episode and it's I, I think I think it got lost in your closet or something baffled something like that I might have been swept under a rug accidentally and I don't know maybe maybe it was a rug I rolled one of my victims up into when I had to dispose the body I don't know <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Uh, I didn't just say that on stream. Never mind that. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely, like... Uh, it's, it's I'm having that overwhelming problem again where... Because I'm working... I'm going to do that Twisted Metal video. My Kenobi video is the one that's already got the the voice recorded. And I just need to animate it. Um, so I might be able to finally do the Evil Dead review after the Twisted Metal video, I would assume. You know, it's kind of weird, like, <laughs> when you have your little meltdowns, um, 
it it it, it. <laughs> it's actually kind of humorous to watch. <laughs> well, I'm glad lie. people enjoy my pain. <laughs> <sighs> I, try, I I set out to make my channel. I was like, well, after, after it kind of took off initially. Oh, Ash is possessed. Oh, oh boy. I was like, yeah, man, you know, I am I think I can be an optimistic voice. Everybody's always doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. And then, sure enough, the entertainment industry just found a way to knock the optimism right out of me. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, it's funny because Hollywood has a way of doing that, taking something good and just turning it into evil. Yep. And I think that's the general consensus of a lot of your videos, which, like, it, it, I think is unfortunate. I would just like, like, I think that's what makes your Squid Game, uh, you know, coverage so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Is that you actually liked it. It was actually good. Right. And it, because it is good. You know, it, it's a great series, and and you don't start off being pessimistic about things, you know. Because <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, it's it's something I have no attachment to prior. It's not an adaptation. Oh boy, that's okay. I can I can I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I yeah, I'm good. Okay, I sh I shot the demon out of you. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you got an arrow in the knee. But uh, uh, aside from that, you're good. It's okay. I'm 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 okay with that. You see, use my first am. Yep, I use my first amulet, and sure enough, I get two full markers, two full bars. With my first amulet. That's cool. Blade and Pinhead got a hold of that episode and lost it while gallivanting those puppet scamps. <laughs> oh, that, I still haven't done a puppet master video. Damn, dude, there's so much shit I want to do. I want to do a Godzilla video and just show my love of Godzilla. Uh, there's not enough uh, time in the world. Godzilla. Matthew Broderick or... How dare you. <laughs> How fucking dare you say that to me right now. Are you fucking kidding me? I try to talk about something I enjoy and you bring up <laughs> the Matthew Broderick motherfucking shit American <laughs> adaptation. Who the fuck do you think you are? I invited you on my stream. I'm like, I, I can be friendly with this. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> I don't- I hear you <laughs> expelling oxygen, I don't hear you taking any in! <laughs> oh god, I, I killed Philip too! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just killed two people on stream! on yourself you don't you don't mention Matthew Broderick's name in the same sentence as Godzilla not around me you know the, the pain in your ribs right now that's your fault and unfortunately poor Philip just caught the shrapnel like he wasn't even expecting it he was probably taking a drink or eating his food or something and now he's choking to death he doesn't he doesn't have anybody to do a Heimlich maneuver on him Oh, that was. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh Phillips. God. Phillips telling you to breathe right now too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I needed that freaking laugh after the day. <laughs> I told you it was your fault. <laughs> uh, apparently, I have a new follower. Why are my Why are my notifications on again? I did not turn those on. Uh, 
gosh. I am freaking lost and abandoned in the woods. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't freaking move. I couldn't breathe, but that just killed me. <laughs> yeah, I heard something sounded like he hit the floor in your background. I was like, did he just fall off his chair? Like, what just happened? I did. I did. I, did. I was leaning forward trying to uh, control myself. <laughs> and I leaned forward too much, and I ended up just my chair slipped out from underneath me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that bruise oh. will be a reminder of what you don't talk about near Baffled. <laughs> you know what? Um, <clears throat> for the record, I just, uh, I, uh, I couldn't torture you, uh, unfortunately, um, today the way I wanted to. <laughs> so I figured uh, I, I would just, you know, the moment you said you loved Godzilla and you were passionate about it, I knew exactly where to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> and you <laughs> responded exactly like I thought you were. <laughs> you that's what I was laughing. And that's what I was laughing at the most. <laughs> because, because I, don't, I was just sitting here thinking to myself, okay, he's going to flip over this, but... Um, you know, I did not accept the awful way you did when it, it just killed me. No, you. nobody knows the depths of my, my anger. Nobody. I do. That's why I'm scared of myself. Look, Baffled, Baffled Buffoon is alone in his mansion for a reason. If other people were around all the time, nothing good would come of it. Some, some fools might end up, uh, rolled up in rugs and... And disposed somewhere. For oh example. My God. For example. <laughs> you know, hypothetically. Uh, there is a very bad flute player around here somewhere that needs to die. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Philip, this was almost a RE6 stream, but we were like uh, dead on at 9 o'clock. And I invited this du I'm dead. I invited yeah, this dude, and Capcom, for whatever reason, decided to make it mandatory to do that slow-ass tutorial. So he was not able to join us in time- to join my game in time for the stream to start, so we switched over to this. But this was almost a RE6 uh, Chris co-op stream. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, you know, because, um... In one of uh, Baffled's other videos, he did mention how it would be a living hell for him to uh, play Resident Evil 6 again. And uh, I'm gonna go uh, res that guy. Okay, go for it. I'll stay in the circle then. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and so I felt it necessary to torture him. Uh, you know, because that's that's what I do. That's my existence. Um, you know, ah shit! The uh, player's here. He's fully like using him as bait. Uh, uh, okay. What should I do? Uh, you can stay there. I'll I'll try to handle this. Okay. Yeah, the circle's kind of more important. If if it, holy shit, this is a whole dead-eyed army. Well, oh, now two now. of us are bait. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to go and try to get you then, because I don't know where the other person is, and I'm not exactly sure where you go. Okay, I see okay. You just guys. be warned. There's one, two, three, uh, four, I th and an elite. Plus, there's a flute player buffing them. Yeah, I see that. That's okay. I just immortalized myself. <clears throat> All right, bring it. Come on. Oh no. Mm-hmm. You suck, I know. Yep, you suck, I know. You suck, I know. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nope. I suck, I know. I suck, I know. Uh, I much prefer this already. <laughs> I only enjoy all these sixes, Leon, up until the church. Everything else epitomizes what I feel went wrong with the franchise. It's interesting where that's the exact point where I rage quit on my solo stream for RE6 is at the church gates when Helena wouldn't go through the fucking door. 
Well, see, like, that was the whole point. Like, we were going to, you know, team, we were going to co-op it, so that way, you know, um, Baffled wouldn't have to, uh, you know, deal with, with, uh, um, <clears throat> ignorant AI or failing. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. How did I live? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that person somehow, I guess they did one of the objectives, and we get resurrected on the objective being completed. Oh, okay. That's, that's okay. Because it, awesome. it said something about uh, being revived because uh, something involving the dagger. Oh, well, I wish I had um, <clears throat> known that instead of, you know, reading comments. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, I am terrified right now. It's only a few seconds until I, uh, I'm uh, up for, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, get possessed? Yeah, I'm sorry. My brain is still trying to get oxygen. <laughs> that's that's fine. You went like a good uh, two minutes there without any. I'm, I'm surprised you're not a vegetable. <laughs> okay. Or maybe you yeah, are. Yeah. Maybe you are, and I just haven't realized it yet. <laughs> Oh, uh, players down here, by the way. Or he's trying to come down here. I'm trying to hold okay. him off, but I don't think I'm going to make it, to be honest. Oh, there we go. I just made myself go invulnerable, so cool. hope I can fight my way through this. Or at least help or something. Dude, Wait, is this is this Evil Ash I'm, I'm seeing? I'm down. Uh, yeah, it's Warlord Evil Ash. Yeah. Oh shit! I can't go back down the stairs. There's a monster behind me. A dead height. Okay, You're bail. Surrounded. Bail. Yeah, get Run. out of there. Run, They're you fool! My body, so just don't <laughs> worry about me unless you absolutely can. Well, Ash is in here trying to uh, pluck him off. Yeah, I just have no health to be able to to do that. Um, mm -hmm. It'd be nice if putting in an upgrade point will will heal me or something. Nope. No, no. it doesn't work that way. I wish. And now they're leaving me, they're going after you guys. Oh shit. You are dead. Dead, 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 dead scheme. Hold still! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Damn it. Steal yourself for battle. And you're Damn leaving. It. Come on, Ash. Be the hero. Be the hero. Oh, Be the there's the player. Just, just leave me, Ash. <laughs> just leave me. <laughs> it's not worth it. Oh, now he's down. Wait, are you no, the woman from the TV show? I still haven't watched it. I know I need to get on it. Yeah, my character's from uh, at least the first season. I've only watched like four episodes or something like that so far. She's the FBI agent. He's three episodes. He's three episodes ahead of me, so. Uh, by the way, Baffled, um, I'm waiting for you to still, uh, you know, invite me over to uh, watch a movie or something. When uh, do, do, do you have any idea? <clears throat> Uh, I still got to prep an area for that. Like, I want to I wanna have, like, a designated spot to invite some victims. I mean, people over to, uh, to watch something. Yeah, sorry, we're, play <laughs> we're playing a horror game, so I keep, you know, certain words just keep slipping in there. Oh, well, that's beautiful. At least your soul is being carried. I'm just <laughs> still here in the freaking doorway. You know what? You know what the kick in the pants was? Is I died. I died at the top of the stairs, and I uh -huh. guess I got kicked over to the entrance of the doorway. Oh, really? Not only, yeah, not only did they kill me, but they desecrated my body. <laughs> they trampled on you until you ended up somewhere else. They wow. did. And yeah, yeah, they did. Well, I'm That's not gonna lie, there, a couple of those footprints are mine since I was trying to get out of the damn cabin <laughs> before I died. I wouldn't oh, doubt it. Oh, there's your soul. Oh. 
Nice. All right, Ash. Be the hero. Be the hero. Okay. He's terrified. He is. He's trying to. Okay, where's the other person? Oh, the other person's out doing stuff that he's supposed to be doing. In instead of you know. <laughs> yeah, Scotty's not not as much of a team player. He's just like doing shit. But you know what? That actually saved us a couple times. <laughs> that saved us probably. once already. Anyway, he probably is the one that resurrected us. Yeah, because Ash was trying to protect, was trying to claim us. Oh. Oh boy. Ash was trying to uh, to save us, and uh, he's the one, and, and Scotty's the one out there actually accomplishing goals and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay because he can, because mm -hmm. you know players after us. So. If players after me, hey! I'm alive. See, I, you were so right. I live. The My ammo's gone. Woo! Ow! Uh-uh, go away. Yeah, take that. Oh, I love how he swung at his head at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's like a, like a fatality right there. Just It's like Jax's fatality just smashed between... Two very, uh, very tough weapons. Lawless victory. Yeah. Fatality. Well, I took a couple hits. I didn't. You also <laughs> might get possessed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, did you yeah. even get to get any of the pink stuff in the basement of that cabin? I don't think so. Is it this cabin? Yeah. Yeah. This I, th I think cabin. this is no, the one we died in. I don't, yeah, this is the one we died in. I don't think so. Nope, I didn't. I totally okay. didn't. I'm trying to do it right now. Um, what's that? Matchsticks? Come on, get those matchsticks. What's that? What's that? Ammo, ammo. Oh, Ash here. has a car out front. Uh, oh, that's another amulet. I gotta grab that. And, okay, I'm coming upstairs right now. Okay. And I'm vaulting. I'm Come coming. on, Thunderloins. I'm running. I'm here. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm still pissed over the Matthew Broderick thing. You're just trying to kill me tonight, aren't you? <laughs> like, you know, like that pathetic excuse of a monster that they called Godzilla, but it was in no way Godzilla. It didn't, like, it ran around and it ate fish. That's what it did. <laughs> yeah. It did nothing impressive. Right. It ran around, and it ate fish, and it shot out some babies. And then it died. Both of them died. <sighs> uh, yep, I'm gonna get that other amulet. What's this? And that's another amulet. I'm gonna grab that, and you need to die. You know, I w you know when I saw the... Um, oh, I'm possessed. I I I'm a huge, you know, just like you. I'm a, I'm a really big Godzilla fan. Like I grew up watching the original Godzilla movies and stuff. And mm -hmm. um, oh, we can attack these guys now. Go away, go away. I said go away. Go, 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 go. There's a lantern over here. We got lit. Oh, okay, I'm coming. I'm on my way. All right, I'm Where gonna tag out. Okay, I am in. Oh, I just got fear trapped. Okay, I don't have any heals, but I do have shields. Ooh. 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 I just increased my melee, and I am good. I'm coming in. Um, Came yeah, I'm in like a wrecking I... ball. <laughs> <laughs> you read my comments. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Like, I grew up watching all of those movies and stuff like that. And, um. What's your you favorite know, one? So, uh. Mecha Godzilla. Ah, uh, yeah. I, um, uh, I love. I think it's uh, Godzilla versus Mecha Gearus. The one that had Jet Jaguar in it. Like, it's mm. not a lot of people's favorite, but man, I love Jet Jaguar so much. Why can't I revive this guy? Okay. Come on, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, freak, I could, I could not get my shield up, man. It was not letting me revive him. That's Shit. trash. Okay, where are you? You're over there. Yeah. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. 
that was a that that was a slow, painful loss. Yeah, like we were <laughs> we were trying to to climb that keep hill, me, and we just kept slipping me, on mud. Trying to keep me from dying in, in more days ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I like a lot of the classics, like Ma Mothra, um, you know, yeah. uh, uh, um, I forgot the name of the Hydra, the three-headed winged Hydra. Oh, King Ghidra, or, yeah. or, or, or Ghidorah, depending on... Ghidorah. Yeah. Ghidorah is what I really remember. Um, yeah, they say it both ways in the various dubs, Ghidra and Ghidorah. Mm-hmm. You know, and like, you know, so when... When the initial teaser came out for uh, that which we shall not name, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like I was excited for it because all I really saw was the intro part of it, like the beginning part of it, where you know the the old man fisherman and he catches it and you oh, know yeah. the the big old title with like I was like oh this is gonna be and then of course the gods the classic iconic Godzilla roar and I was like mm -hmm. oh heck yeah yeah and that scene by the way is still awesome like it's so well it really done. Is. Is the, the fisherman? I felt so bad for that guy. He was such a happy little old man. He's just he trying is. to go out there and do his favorite hobby. He, he had his one buddy shit talking. I'm like, ah, you never catch anything. Yeah. He's like, but I feel like today's my day, Al. <laughs> you want to fight, do ya? <laughs> that been that little old man grimace that he had. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm more of a casual Godzilla fan. I've seen them all except the 1990s ones. I saw Shin Godzilla in theaters and liked it. Dude, Shin Godzilla surprised the hell out of me. Have you seen it? Mm, no. Oh, I stayed away from it because when I first saw how Godzilla looks in that movie, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, why would Japan hmm. do this? Hmm. But, like, he goes through multiple stages and it turns out to be the most, like, legitimately terrifying version of Godzilla that they've ever made. Really? Like, I was so shocked when I finally watched that movie. And, like, the whole storyline is just a hilarious... Like, it, it's it's played dead serious, but when you look at it and when you, like, find out that the whole reason the movie was written the way it was is because it's a direct response to how uh, the government there, like, bungled the whole, like, um, nuclear reactor leak that happened because of the tsunami and how the government just completely screwed it up and and that's like why they write the government the way it is in Shin Godzilla like it just adds a whole a whole nother layer to that movie and it's I would definitely recommend it dude all right I'll uh, I'll see if I can find it in some way shape or form probably check voodoo first or something yeah because they're, they're without spoiling anything there's there's one moment in that movie that seriously gave me goosebumps just for how scary it was and mm. imagining how that would be if it actually happened in real life mm. uh, what's that piece of the map got the first piece of the map Woohoo! Yeah, but i'm so excited that that guy that made shin godzilla uh he, he's also the one who i don't know if you ever watched uh Neon Genesis Evangelion, but he's Evangelion, the, yeah, yeah, he's he's the one that made that, um, and he's also making Shin Ultraman. So and he's doing Shin Kamen Rider. Like, once Shin Godzilla came out, all these other companies are like, oh, please reboot our franchise, please, please. So he, <laughs> so yeah, Shin Godzilla, Shin Ultraman is next, and he's doing Shin Kamen Rider, which I can't wait for all of them to see nice. what he does, because I'm a I big Ultraman it. fan too. <sighs> yeah. I'm on the move. Or I realize you're my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> the more I understand. Um Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm I'm not a huge Ultraman fan, so I can't say I've seen a lot of it, but what I have seen I have uh thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. And I couldn't tell you anything about it but i it's because i'm a casual kind of like philip said like i'm a casual you know um don't know much about the about ultraman don't know much about the lore or anything like right that. well be, yeah, be, because of the way i've watched it like i can't tell you much about the the overall lore because like i i always go in go into the um 
you ever hear, hear of Shout Factory? Of what? Shout Factory. Uh-uh. They're uh, this company that re-releases like uh, a bunch of that, like uh, like old horror movies, but also like the Japanese tokusatsu stuff. But um, they release them on DVD. But they also have a 24-hour Twitch stream for like various things. Like they have a 24-hour, uh, you know, seven days a week uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 stream going. But they also have a, a, to- a tokusatsu one where they show. Common Rider episodes and Ultraman, and I love like checking out the Ultraman stuff on there. Like I've, and it's it's not like they p- consistently play a series or anything. So I, mm-hmm. I've seen it in such like a shotgun way, where nothing <laughs> nothing is in order, none of it makes sense, but it's all really enjoyable to watch. And you know what? I think that's like, and you know, we were talking earlier about. Um, what do you call it? Um, Supernatural, and how there was like the uh, you know the whole concept of monster of the week, and you know uh, people not enjoying things. And I think that's one of the things that made Supernatural so successful at the beginning is that you could jump in any you know in the first five seasons at any season mm-hmm. on any episode and not have to worry about oh well what happened before. And then after that, it's like okay, you really had to have watched everything else. I got the map right. down here, by the way. Oh, okay. Just a FYI in case you're still looking for it. Um, you know, and it, like what you're saying about that, it's like Ultraman's like, I guess what you're saying is like, you know, Ultraman's one of those shows where it's like, you know, you don't have to have seen every episode to be able to it. jump in and enjoy it. Yeah, and... you, can, you can pretty much watch every episode cause, and like get what's going on because every episode is, you know, like every iteration, there's like a human host who like can is picked to like transform into whatever the newest iteration of Ultraman is and he just battles giant monsters in various mm-hmm. awesome ways. I'm possessed. Oh boy. Um and I'm just shooting wasting my ammo. Um <laughs> Okay, I'm back in control, I guess. Okay. Um <clears throat> You know, it's like uh, what uh, what's his face was saying about the re the, the Netflix Resident Evil that you know oh you don't have to have played the games you can jump right in and, and enjoy the show as it is because it's Resident Evil and and you know you could just enjoy it and it's like um, that's a huge claim. How can you say that it's that every game is canon? But then turn around and say, oh, but you don't have to have watched any, you don't have to have played any of the games, you don't have to have seen any of the movies, because you'll be able to enjoy it without any of that. Yeah. And yet, it's canon. Wait, what? Yeah, and there was a whole other article that was an interview with that same showrunner that I could have talked about, but again, for the sake of time, I didn't. But he's he, he got more into, like... He said that it takes place concurrently to Resident Evil Village. You know, the Netflix series takes place at the same time as Resident Evil Village. And if they get a season two, maybe a big giant uh, vampire lady can show up. And I read that. I was like, I was like, so you don't even know that she dies early in the game. Like she's the first boss that gets taken out. You don't know that she's not even a vampire. Uh, Like, uh, I don't know. And and yet, it's the timeline is completely after all of that happens. Yeah, the future timeline. I mean, that's one of the things. Yeah, that's one of the things that you said in your video is that it happens after all of those things, and it's like, yeah, uh, when when there's a, a future post-apocalyptic timeline, you don't care about what's going on in the past timeline that they are also showing you. Right. Because you know most of the characters you're going to see in the past are dead in the future. Uh, the characters you are following are going to be completely different in the post-apocalyptic future because they're going to be mm-hmm. hardened and they're going to be, you know, cheesy badasses, <laughs> you know, and, you know, yeah. there's for so many reasons when you make that choice, like you don't care about the past timeline. You just don't. Right. And it's like you said about the Arrow, you know, like the first five seasons of Arrow, like, you know, um... <clears throat> like, it, it made sense. Like, you got you got to understand kind of sort of... I say kind of, sort of. Uh, You get to understand kind of, sort of, like, how Arrow got to be the way he was watching the first five seasons. Um, Of course, like we've also mentioned, it gets very convoluted and bad after a while, but... Mm -hmm. um, 
at least you can understand how are they going to do that in this case like are they going to run it for five seasons also and say you know oh yeah this is how they got to where they are and we're going to show you how much how, how awesome they are now right I, I just I, I <laughs> wow, player was able to jump back real quick. Right. Where, 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 oh, really? You're just missing them. No! Don't hit me! I'm innocent! I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I would. I mean, you, you muttered the name that must not be muttered. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't try to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the player's back again! Oh, okay, it's just a regular Deadite, though. That's good. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? That's three times in a row! <laughs> ah, crap. Philip says, I'm also over the post-apocalypse future. Just a bad trope that is now more used than the In Space sequel for horror films. <laughs> Resident Evil In Space. At least they're not doing that. But yeah, I'm I'm really tired of the post-apocalypse thing. Like, and the funniest thing is that they did it even after the movie series, when you know Anderson regretted doing the apocalypse thing in, like, the third movie. Because he was constantly writing himself out of corners in those movies. He would have a movie end the one way, and then the very next movie would say, Oh, well, actually, this is what happened... <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like the third movie right out the gate. All the oceans have dried up. There is no water on Earth. Zombies are everywhere. Humanity is almost extinct. And then like later movies, just whole cities and oceans just are back because you can't write a story when there's no oceans and like a handful of people. You just can't. <laughs> huh. <sighs> Yeah, backpedaling. The staple of Hollywood sequels. Mm hmm So, if you watched the first movie, ignore it. Even though you loved it. Because <laughs> we're gonna retcon everything. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's... You know, and why do that to a movie that people enjoy? You right. know, or a television show, or a series, limited series that people enjoy. Why retcon what worked? It's like George Lucas started doing it and almost set the standard to be able to get away with it simply because Star Wars, ha Star Wars had such a cult following, and then all of a sudden it became genuinely popular and huge. You know, it, it, it surpassed cult status, mm -hmm. and... And then it's like, oh, okay, we can do the same thing with our movie sequels, trilogies, series. We could just retcon the crap we didn't like. Mm -hmm. Who cares what the fans enjoyed? Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Fill up in the, in the chat. Oh, shit, you're right. And, and that fifth movie uh, ends on a ship a mile into the ocean. Yeah, the oceans came back because you can't do a story without them. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Because if there's no water, guess what? Humanity is gonna die just because of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, but you know, there's one man-made ocean or something. <laughs> like, and, and, and I was really hoping that you would finish your uh, your series on covering the RE movies. I couldn't, man. Like, it's that thing I was talking about. Like, I could not watch that third movie by myself because that movie is the point where it's just garbage the first mm -hmm. two they're watchable I, I i could handle those but no <laughs> that third one is like hitting a brick wall we're in a car oh okay and we're, and they're kidnapping me oh no i think they're gonna wait for you yeah they're waiting for you is what it looks okay. like i'm being chased yeah trinity help trinity Let's stop moving the car, dumbass! The Matrix movies. <laughs> That's a whole nother rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, 
my and gosh. Here in about, uh, probably after this match, we're going to take our uh, five-minute hydration break. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you're if you're down for that. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm also possibly just a bad trope that's not more used. To me. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Matrix movies, man. <laughs> there's only one. I don't know what you're talking about. Movies, plural. No, there's, there's just one. Uh, no, there's like, you know, four of them. There's, there's the one. Matrix, there's the Matrix. One. There's John it's Wick, just the Matrix. John Wick 2 Terabellum. <laughs> John Wick 3. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> 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 my favorite Neo thing. Got out, my got favorite thing when when the when the new one came out. I don't even know what the actual name is. I just know people just started calling it the Matrix Regurgitated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, honestly, I when I first saw the when I first started watching the John Wick movies, the only thing I could think of was, oh, it's the it's the real Matrix sequel. Mm. <laughs> Because honestly, that's how I always saw, you know, Thomas Anderson. You know, like if he ever got out of the Matrix with all of that stuff downloaded into his brain, mm -hmm. I just thought, okay, you know, if this guy ever really gets into the real world or whatever, like he's gonna be a total, you know, <laughs> he's gonna be awesome. Players here. And, oh no, I gotta get. The oh, he split. Okay, he's handle. he's split into two. He's They're multiplying two now. Two. This is ridiculous. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta join you, I gotta join you, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. You guys are on the back side of the house. Yeah, I also have no heals. Oh, there's a floating sword. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You know what? I'm gonna run out of the circle, because I need run heals. Ahead. Ahead. Oh! Oh, I got the person that was trying to chase after you. Thank you. Watch out for the lightning. Okay. There's a Just handgun I can't use. Another handgun I can't use. Amulet! Yes, give me that. At least I'll have a shield. All right, killed player possessed uh, standard demon. Cool. cool. Uh, us three ashes are now in here, or two ashes in in, in thunderloins. Pay pay a, pay close attention to those ashes. You don't want anything to happen to those ashes. Protect them. I gotta I gotta cover those ashes. Yep. If you got to slap them, you know, make sure they're 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 in good order. Well, I mean, I'm only gonna slap them if they're you know if they end up turning red. Yeah, but if they do, you gotta slap that ash. Oh heck yeah, I'm gonna slap that ash if it turns red. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. Man, I love this freaking game. <laughs> so I do I. I love this game, bro. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I love this game. Like we said, even when we lose, which we do much Fuck! Every time I open my upgrade menu I get attacked. <laughs> even when we Can lose, we're having fun. No, 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 I'm good. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, what, what, the, what is that? That's... Not, oh, wow. Officer in wow. pursuit. Officer the in cam, pursuit. The camera angle just totally screwed me. I didn't even see the freaking demon in front of me. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Boss is back. Man, screw that boss. Yeah. Nice. Now hold the lost pages of the Necronomicon. A world is a step closer to salvation. Philip says, "Yeah, part three is the worst one in the series. I think slightly outstinking final chapter." <laughs> <laughs> you know what? An advantage final chapter has because I haven't, I still haven't watched it for myself, but I did watch EFAP's coverage on it when it came out. There's a line in there when uh, there's three versions of Alice in a room. And the the one guy, uh, the one villain, just is looking around. He goes, ah, the trinity of bitches. I'm like, yeah. That's the best line ever in that movie, in that movie series. And Hands probably down. one of the most accurate. And probably written by her husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing to me. First phase is done.
You know, we might... I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Second phase is done? I think somebody's possessed. Yeah, I'm trying to go after him right now. Okay, he's clear. Okay. Good. Trying to cover you. <clears throat> Got to keep going. Okay, good, 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 good. Coming after you to cover you. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Who's bleeding? Okay, I'm going to try to pick him up. Uh, they're already trying to cover him, but... Arr! Boss is here. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to do the zappy on this on this thing. All right, I will try to cover you. Got him. Okay, book book is nice. popped. We just got to survive. All right. No Survival time. Must not allow it. There's the boss. Yep, got him. Down. He's good. He's out. Nope. Oh, I just got hit by another, by a stray. Oh, here's a player. In a regular body. Give me that amulet. Give me my shield. <laughs> come on, come on. Kick his ass. Oh, Going ahead. Going ahead. Where'd he go? Where'd he I'm go? Going. He's gone. Okay. We're clear for now. Here we go. More incoming. Oh, we got a purple one. I don't okay. know what the purple one does. Oh, he's dead already. Cool, cool. Must have been a glass cannon. Clear. Ammo, ammo. 35 seconds left. Keeping my mouth shut. Yeah, the, otherwise the boss will just pop a tactical nuke or something. <laughs> 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 it's got a kill streak going, just saving it. <laughs> just one big, one big uh, a fear bomb that causes him to be able to possess us all. <laughs> oh wow, they're just coming in and freaking kamikaze right now. Yes! It's been a while. Hoo-yah. 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 Ah. Oh, oh. Philip is still here to see this victory. We don't get right. many of these. Right, we don't, we don't, but when we do, they're awesome. And get this, we beat it against one of the hardest, uh, that's true, classes. that's true. The boss that everybody well, has trouble with, mm hmm, absolutely. And it's even been posted on, uh, on YouTube that it's one of the most OP bosses in the game. So, yeah, the only complaint I have when it comes to balance really is that <laughs> that that boss character. <laughs> All right, I have no skill points, so I can't really do anything. But that's all right. That was uh, that was a good match. Yes, it was. All right, I got to get some water, so I am going to start my hydration break. <laughs> okay. All righty. Yep, I'm going to go on my hydration break as well. Philip, uh, we'll uh, we'll be back in like five minutes.
Okay, I'm back. At some point, I will definitely have to respec my character. But I'll save that for when her abilities aren't glitched. And I get to turn down. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what uh, what gives you that impression? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, welcome back. <laughs> Nobody's asking you to do anything <laughs> except not go outing people. <laughs> Just watch and enjoy. <laughs> That's all we ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably got time for one more match. I'm going to try to work on these two videos. Oh. Did you set a buffer today? <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. <laughs> to just watch he says <laughs> <laughs> came in like a wrecking ball <laughs> <laughs> you really did love that part <laughs> <laughs> well it also just suits so many situations lately <laughs> 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 oh my gosh that is so hilarious <laughs> oh, man honestly like I think that's like one of your most one of your more recent videos that has had so many comments on it oh yeah I was I was oh. real excited to see because like that was my favorite part of doing the earlier videos was all the conversations happening in the videos so it was like a fun flashback to that i bet i bet <laughs> baffled you do me justice brother <laughs> wow i got you jeremy i got you <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i know now what Right, being alone causes your feel. Okay, how do I get rid of that? Like for real? Oh yeah. Oh, um, in like I think the <laughs> I think the settings in the main menu have have the option to turn that off. I turned that off so long ago. I yeah, I got so sick of it. Like if you wander two feet away from a person, if you go off by yourself, you will get terrified. Like yeah, no shit. Like, shut the hell up. <laughs> Please stop reminding me. I'm done with the freaking two. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf, um, you see. I don't have no no partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, okay, so I um I watched that um uh the Silent Hill fan film that mm -hmm. you uh that you covered. And uh I watched it I had to watch it more than once. Oh yeah. For, you know, to uh to really draw an opinion for myself mm -hmm. uh, on how I felt about it. Um, and uh, what does it say in commentaries? Oh yes, the uh, the the comments and and thoughts of the commentators do not necessarily reflect the opinion oh. of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see where you're going. <laughs> Playing Agents of Shield again. <laughs> I don't have a shield yet. I don't have a shield yet. But yes, we are playing Agents of Shield. Again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, 
Um, I thought it was good. Um, overall, I, I, I don't know how to say this nicely, but I'm going to try. The, I guess it was the production value overall was kind of unimpressive. I think they, I don't know if they were going for like a Silent Hill 2 or was it 3 look with the level of fog that was in some of the scenes. Right. Um, I kind of thought it was a little overdone and um, I understand that they were working with a skeleton crew. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> But uh, I think, uh, honestly, the, the 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 most impressive part of it was, um, you know, Pyramid Head. Right. You know, that was definitely impressive. And, and I thought that was really cool. I mean, they got the outfit real, done really up well. Yeah, it's the and... best fan-made version of it I've seen. Because the, 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 um, what am I, words, words. Um... Mark! Like, just the size of the pyramid, I guess. The, like, the proportions of Pyramid Head. Like, fans have such a hard time getting the size of the actual pyramid part right. It's either way oversized or it's too small and looks goofy. I think they they pretty much nailed the proportions they really in, did. in that fan um, film. Yeah, they did. And and that that's honestly, for me, like, probably one of the... Is, is like, the best part of the fan film. I found it... I, I, I don't know. I felt... Personally, me myself, I like it dragged on a little too long. I mm. couldn't really grasp the story that was trying to be told. Oh yeah, it um, was it was jumping all, all over the place. Um, it was mm. um, disorienting, which I think was probably intentional, actually. But like it, the way it comes across as a viewer, though, it's not necessarily a fun experience. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Dang it, I don't have a shield. I need a freaking amulet. Q Jeremy. Um, welcome back, Mark. Mark, we missed you, buddy. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Now we have Mark, and we have Jeremy, and we have Philip, and everybody likes to comment. Have at y'all. Yeah, a bunch of MVPs. For real. Oh shit! Uh, those those ashes really took off without us. They really actually one just I I just saw an ash run by me. Ash hole. <clears throat> oh no! Wait, that was you. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you guys all missed it. Um, well, actually, Philip was here for it, and he was probably the only one in my corner, but uh, Baffle tried killing me earlier. Um, yeah, then I realized killing a person on stream wasn't necessarily wise. So, to be continued. <laughs> It'll happen eventually. Yeah, there's there's also a Philip here. He uh, he's been he, he joined our chat pretty much for the first time, and he said he's going to be hanging out probably for a while longer. So hopefully he's able to to make it through the rest of the of the stream. Um, ah, so Mark's been been in a dinosaur mood. So what'd you think of the, uh, just out of curiosity, Mark, what'd you think of the last Jurassic World movie, the second one? I still haven't seen it because I didn't really hear many good things. Oh my gosh, where are all the freaking amulets going? I don't have a single one with them. Watchable, not great though. Oh, okay. Wife wanted to watch the Chippendale movie, so just got done watching that. Oh boy. Uh, what would you think of that? Wait, there's a movie about strippers. <laughs> the other Wait, Chippendale, the furry. Magic Mike, Mag Magic Mike Park Four. No, 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 not not the stripper movie. It's it's the furry movie. Uh, so, same difference. Um, maybe on certain <laughs> themed nights, perhaps. <laughs> Um, just for the record, we have been abandoned again. Yeah. 
people really want to hurry to those objectives, whereas I prefer to try to get the best gear that I can <laughs> before heading over there. Right, right. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just a blanket statement. I, I, I see that. I, I want to win, okay? <laughs> and, and, and that means trying to gear myself up, get my amulets of shield, you know, get myself a small shemp buffer, and, you know, overall, I got to shut off my light. Um... You know, just be ready for the end fight. What's the point in getting to the end if we can't beat the end because right. we're undergeared? I, I don't, I don't. Wait, what's that? Oh, an amulet! Yep. Woo! So I guess the more I increase my amulet level, the more blocks I get at plus two, and I need a between you and the necessary. Oh, there's a champ's good. And no, nope, can't carry any more champs. Can't carry any more champs. I need a, I need a light source. Light source. Light source. Light source. Okay, yeah. No, go away. Ouch! Go away. Go away. Go away. I got you. Beat your head. Beat your head. <laughs> oh, how do we pass this up? Because we went in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Fell so hard. Let me go. Um, uh, did we go to this house over here? Over Not here? that one, I don't think. All right. You check the second floor. I'll check the first floor. All right. I you take to... the high road. I'll take the low road. And there is no high road to take thee, but there is a bottom floor. And I'll Bonnie Bonnie. Oh, you are on the bottom floor. Okay, so I guess I'm taking the main floor. Uh, there's a shemps up here and and a skeleton that got an amulet down here. Action. Okay, cool. I did <laughs> I just walk on your head. <laughs> your guy just talks so much medieval shit. It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know because I don't have my volume on. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's nothing decent up. Oh, matchsticks. <clears throat> Back when Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom came out, I remember calling it the best live-action Resident <laughs> Evil movie. Really? <laughs> Chippendale movie was actually pretty funny with all the old cartoon references. Oh, okay. Death Rogan was also pretty funny in it. <clears throat> Wait, yeah, well, Seth Rogen... What bugs me about it is more the fact that they didn't feel the need to do hand-drawn animation like the Roger Rabbit days. It's like cell-shaded CGI that's supposed to represent hand-drawn characters. Dude, you just mentioned one of my favorite all-time movies. Oh, yeah? I that love movie freaked love me out as a kid, man. When they get melted in the, in the acid... Or whatever it is. Oh my god, oh. it's dead! I gotta light this, this campfire over here. Okay. For my own benefit, because... I'll yeah. just loot everything over here. Well, like, the thing that freaked me me out about Roger Rabbit was when Christopher Lloyd turned straight out evil. Mm -hmm. And his voice got, like, super high-pitched. <laughs> and then when he died in the vat of dip, and he's like... Aah! Yeah, yep. like as a kid, as a younger, you know, as, as as a younger person, like I was just like, oh my god, that is creepy, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that that tripped me out personally. Mm. But yeah, it also doesn't help that I just was never a big fan of Chippendale Rescue Rangers anyway. So there's not Roger. a whole lot of nostalgia uh, to mine there for me in the new movie. Roger Rabbit was in the new was in the Chippendales movie. Wait, Roger Rabbit was in the Chippendales movie? Hmm. How is that even a thing? You know, I've never really thought about who would have the Roger Rabbit rights. I mean, it was originally a Touchstone picture, or was that just? The, was Touchstone just the? Distributor? Oh, Touchstone! Touch, uh, Touchstone was uh, was a division of Disney, I believe, just like Miramax mm. was. Mm. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, there's no way to go upstairs then. Ow! Dick! Your next dirtbag. Man down. 
<sighs> oh boy. That ash is bleeding out. Gotta patch Gross. it up. There's a Someone's really big head. crack. Hemorrhoids? Oof. Behind you, behind you, behind you. You know, for all my looting, the best I've been able to come up with is a blue shotgun and a gray spear. Do you realize that I still only have a gray weapon and a blue freaking saw gun? When we we've been looting every house we've passed. What the hell? Wait. RNG and, is and, not favoring us today. RNG never favors me. Although there's I a there's people. a buttload of shemps in this house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, I need a... I can't carry any more shimp. Can't carry any more shimp. Can't carry any more shimp. There's an amulet up here if, if you can carry more. Right. And there's an amulet down here. Oh yeah, I can carry like three of those bad boys. Okay, cool. Where is it? Speaking of CGI surgery, I remember years ago when I pondered a Roger Rabbit sequel with 3D tunes mixed in. Okay, there's going to be a part two to that message. Whoa, shit, scare trap. Okay, the demon's on to us. All right. And he just knocked down that fence, too. Um, uh, well, I... Oh, my gosh. Both the other people are dead. Oh, shit. No wonder he's on us. Yep. Okay. Where? Okay, we should... Mm, should... Should we just make a beeline for their bodies? Uh, or do you want to try to accomplish a goal to see if they can just that, raise? That would do it, too. Want to jump in the car? Uh, in the it's car? a fake car. It's not a real car. It's not a real car. Dude, I didn't think they made fake cars like that. The car is a lie. All right, I got the player here. Okay. I'm going to try to keep him as way. long as I can if you can get uh, an objective done. Oh, okay. I'll try not to get scared so I don't alert them as to where I am. Yep, and I think the uh, player just uh, just buzzed out because he was here, now he's gone, so... Ah, crap. Yeah, I think he went after you. I think he ditched his body and went after you. Oh no. I don't want to hear that! Demon just leveled up, too. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, he set portals over here. Mm-hmm. Um, I gotta light this campfire. Try to stay alive. Ah! Yeah, there's elites over here and everything. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I thought that was a player's soul. Ah, oh, shit. That was the objective. This represents a grave threat to the evil dead. To do oh wow, there's a altar in the objective. Oh, uh, nice. Nope, not nice. It's not nice? Why not? Uh, because there's an army here that won't let me do anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot ignite this freaking fire! What ignite the, the fire! <laughs> ignite the fire! Get I'm your thunderloins going, man! Dude, I'm trying, it's not letting me. Ah, oh, shit. Now here's Evil no. Ash. Fuck it. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer to you. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. See if you can make it, see if you can make it. I'll try to cover you. Come on, 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 come on. Trying to take out Evil Ash. Good, he's Whew. down. Okay, now watch out for the Elite. He can possess. Yep. Yep, got him. He's down. All right, cool, cool, cool. Getting more mastics. We're good. We're healed. We're oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude, I am almost completely powered up. So once that happens, nice. thunderloins reign supreme. Boom! Down with ye. Down with ye. Done with ye. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've got your Fuck. six. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Damn it. Oh, you motherfucker. Get in there. All right, I got him. I got his attention. 
Yes! Okay, one Ash is back. I'm gonna try to go for the other guy's soul. Mm -hmm. So glad he didn't rage quit. Me too. Okay, I got his soul. I'm coming back. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yes! Wait, did it, it interrupted! <laughs> the bar was full! How did... Mm, mm, inaccurate bar. Cool. Okay, know, right? let's do this. Oh, dude, what the freak? I can't pick up these freaking amulets of shield. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, Elite. Get out of here. <sighs> the survivors have triggered collection of the <sighs> congregate inside its aura to speed the process. Oh, I'm possessed. Oh, oh no. God, I'm possessed. Oh shit. Okay, infinite oh, ammo. No, I'm possessed. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off me, Elite. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm going after the Elite. <clears throat> Four. And that's a line drive down center field. There's a flute player around here somewhere. Yeah, I see that. Oh, uh, no. There he is. I got him. Okay. Oh, me and Ash got him. He's down. Flute player is out. Uh, player elite. Uh, player boss is here. Okay. This is my boomstick. And this is what makes this game fun, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, we're all just covered in red. That is amazing. All right, you're good, you're good, you're good. Awesome. Whew. Now the portal opened. I just got, I just got janked. I got, oh. I got, I got, I got, what do you call it? Backstab. Ah. Backstab. Backstab. Oh, I just got fear trapped. Oh. That's okay. I got, I got enough fear to deal with Play it. Play early. I see that. Ha <laughs> ha. Boy. Here's an amulet. Yep, I'm possessed. Have taken the uh, that's okay, he oh, got no, exercised. Nice. Key to evil's Excuse you? What the hell? Right, got my amulet. Uh -huh. Medication I will take that blue knife, thank you. Whew, that was intense, and that was just the first objective. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Holy crap. Man, he's gonna have that other one trapped all to hell. Oh, he is too. Now, and especially now that he sees how well we work together. Yeah. That well, this, how well this. I'm team gonna run in here it. right quick, see if there's any shemps in the. Why? Why is there a portal in the bathroom? <laughs> he planned nope. for everything. Nope, just a gray fire axe. All right. Do you need a shemp? Uh, I have nothing. All right, here I'll drop you one then. Or I guess we're getting in the vehicle. Or no? All right. Oh, it's up to you. I wasn't going to. No. I was I'll just... drop you one. Okay, I was looking for hidden items. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's wrong button. Wrong button. And drop in the shemp. There Thank you, you. I'm now yep. terrified. Awesome. I love it when that happens. It's funny. You follow me into the bathroom and I get terrified. I don't know what happened there. Um. No, I'm I was right possessed. here. I'm possessed. I'm possessed. I see that. Kick my ass! Kick my go. ass! Woo! Glad the fire lasts a while. I know, right? Okay. Looks like they're fighting people over there, so we're good over here. Hi, uh, I got two. 
I'm gonna go one there, and I'm gonna go one in here. Because the last thing we need is for a buffed up <laughs> Thunderloins to start attacking everybody. Yeah, that would be terrible. <laughs> the survivors have begun to collect the lost pages. I can just. Ugh, just nothing good is gonna come from that. Right. Oh, Ash just got, uh, player just got, uh, possessed. Hey, Ash just got possessed, so okay. I'm trying to take him out. He's good, he's good, he's good. Okay. Oh. Dude, freaking a knife in the hands of Thunderloin, fully, uh, fully armored, is makes quick work. <laughs> nice! Never would have thought Dude. that. No, I wouldn't have. I think the dagger, and this is a blue dagger, I think a freaking dagger with, uh... Oh, evil Ash. Yeah, I see that. Dude, I am tearing up the freaking. Oh, I'm getting forced to choke. <laughs> That's forced okay, I'm choke. trying to knock you out of it. Come on! Dude, I am tearing up freaking Evil Ash, bro, <laughs> with this freaking dagger! Nice! Oh my gosh. You're going I after not... the flute player. Yep, go for it. Uh, I'm down. Shit. Oh no, he's down too. Oh, because the player possessed that elite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark says, Zombie Land rule number three beware of bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. I, oh, oh, I'm bleeding out! No! 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 Oh man, I almost had that elite down too. I almost had the player elite down. Come on, old man. Come on, El Jefe. Come on, El Jefe. Uh -oh. Nope, there it goes. Nope, that was uh, the other person oh, no. died. Yeah, that was, that was the ash next to me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to just survive. So oh, yeah, because then he'll be ex exercised and we'll just be brought back. Yeah, he's just trying to survive. Oh, come that on. Is a Good, Come on. good strategy. Yes, there it is. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That was just, that was just the thing. Well, I saw the whole screen right, move right. and something else. I'm like, oh, wait, no, I'm dead. That's yes! Just, there we go. Nice. Yes! Good job, old man. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Uh, last bit. We just go for the... We're just going for the... Let's do this with the going for the hooded ones now. Yep. Unfortunately, I am Gun Except Girl, and I have no ammo no, since I died. <laughs> and Spy Hunter needs is scared crapless, so um, I guess we're going over here real quick. Okay. Oh, for the uh, for the for the treasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the drops. Yeah, I almost I almost didn't see that marking. The drops. Yeah. That kind of takes the edge off. All right, okay, I cool, need cool, to cool. increase my health. Yes, increase my health, increase my health, increase my health. All right, I am going to... Oh, no, my fear level is high. I got to follow Spy Hunter here, the other Ash, old Ash. Mm -hmm. uh, just because um, I don't want him to be turned right. while following one person alone. It's not a good idea. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to stop off at this campfire. Because I'm officially <laughs> terrified. Nope, not, not enough matchsticks. Oh, shit. I know. Well, at least if I get possessed, I have no, uh, I have no ammo to shoot you guys. Well, I have two shots, but that's it. <sighs> Dude, we are all, all three of y'all are terrified. Oh, here's a lantern. Here's a lantern. Cool, cool. I'm coming! Wait for me! Wait for me! Okay, let's yes! Whoop! Nobody invited you, Scully. Go away. We needed this. Yep. Where's the other Ash? Uh, over. Oh, he went all the way here over there. by the boss. Yeah. Man, this feels like an epic moment right now. <laughs> it really does. I cannot believe we survived that. We survived a near total wipe. 
that was just yeah that was freaking amazing i <laughs> loved it Do you have the javelin? Oh, they went oh, right yes, past this it. blue chest. I that amulet. Nice. You need that amulet. Great, I picked up a crossbow. I have even less ammo for it. <laughs> <laughs> I went from two shots to none? one. I went from two <laughs> shots to one. <laughs> not, not a good upgrade. Wow. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a mistake. I just, I just got so excited. I saw a new weapon. I was like, "Ooh!" And then, yeah, it was just oh. utter disappointment. Here's a shield. Ooh, there, no. Oh, where are you? You're down there. How do I yep. get down there? Um, Go around. No, Ash. Ah, he, he got it. <laughs> oh, crap. Supposed to save it for the tank, bruh. Ah. Uh. Hey, Juan's here too. Wow. Everybody's here. Nice. I call this one the Ash. Yeah. Yep, just like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everybody's here. Sweet. What happened? Why can't I? Uh, okay. Portal. Oh, shit. Mini Ashes. Pink stuff. Get him off. Get him off. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. Let's on the light. Anything, anything. Amulet, yes, give me that. Give me my two shields. Yeah. I wonder if there's a trophy for running out of flashlight. No, there's not. I already ran out of flashlight once. I didn't get anything special. I got a rock. <laughs> okay, Charlie Brown. <laughs> it was, uh... It was a uh, trope with me. I, I have I have miserable RNG in pretty much any game that RNG exists in, <laughs> and uh, 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 the trope with me is uh, everybody gets something good, and you know, hey, what'd you get? I get a rock. Because <laughs> usually that's what I end up with, like some kind of stupid crafting material, or you'll get like junk, <laughs> right? And it's just like it makes no difference. It's like, yep. woo, I got this. Woo, yeah, I got this. I've been waiting for this. Woo! What did you oh get? shit, Evil Ash, he's kicking my he's kicking my ass. Oh no. Okay. Press I'm on F, it's ten times fast. Evil Ash kicking my ass. Evil Ash kicking my ass. <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where I'm are dead, you? is where I'm dead? at. <laughs> Trying to down Evil Ash right now. At least I can scroll through chat for a minute. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cool World. I've never seen Cool World. Oh, that is such a great freaking anime. Oh, really? oh, shit! I didn't know I got revived! Damn it! I figured my character would have said something. Fuck. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm oh, down. Oh, no. And that's game. No. And that's game. I was trying, man. I was trying. But I didn't have... Yeah, I didn't have anything. I didn't have shemps. I didn't. I don't think I had. Didn't have shemps. I don't know. I'll have to go back. Oh, I can't tell on yours. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, trophy. But hail hey. to the king, baby. I uh. I Another trophy. Another truly amazing. Ooh. Nice. I don't know what I did. You 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 just did. <laughs> so Philip's laughing at me, and Juan says, "Too late." <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault, chat. I was trying to just keep up with the conversation like one of the cool kids. <laughs> All right, well, it's past my allotted time. I got a couple of videos to work on. Okie dokie. Well, chat, thank you guys for joining. I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Uh, maybe we'll actually successfully 
be able to do a co-op Resident Evil 6 stream if somebody completes their mandatory tutorial. I I guess that means I'm going to be playing Resident Evil 6 tutorial tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. I just made a no, promise to a, a handful of people. <laughs> that's 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 absolutely fine. We I mean Resident Evil 5 is still on the table, right? Or no? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as I catch a deal for it, hell, it might be on sale now because it seems like it's damn near always on sale. Nice. But uh, yeah. Uh, un until next time. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Oh, <laughs> Emma got here just in time for us to leave. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye, everyone.